why does it matter if women are represented on corporate boards? Well, there's company performance for one. Studies show that companies with at least one woman director outperform companies with none. Fortune 500 companies with the highest percentage of women directors had significantly higher performance financially. In fact, Catalyst concluded that three women directors is the magic number. So the three or more uh, women director companies performed on the average 53% better in return on equity, 42% better on return on sales, and 66 uh, percent better on return on capital investment. Adding more diversity would help boards avoid groupthink. Maybe that's why companies with more women tend to perform better. How do we influence these companies to, to look at diversity as an imperative? Um, I, think, uh, I think I've mentioned it takes a lot of people to make this happen. We have to lean in a little bit to use Sheryl Stanberg's um, phrase. We need the men at the top of the companies that have the women, uh, the most diverse boards. We need stockholders to say this is important to them. We need consumers who ask themselves when they're buying products, uh, if they know what they know about the company whose products they're purchasing. But I think if we all start making this a, uh, something that matters, we start measuring, like Inform has done, but then we take the, that data and we actually act on it to try and move the needle, not in a way to embarrass companies, but quietly, diplomatically offering a resource like a, a Michigan Women's Directory and the opportunity to use it at a nominal cost it's not going to break the bank, then I think we might actually see in the next Inform report, instead of 11.5% women directors at publicly traded companies in the state of Michigan, we might even reach the Warren Buffett goal of 30%.